All right, now in our introduction section, we're going to drop, make drop downs and sub pages. We're going to do teaching philosophy, personal goals, professional goals, certification, advanced professional performance review. So what we need to do is we need to go to the introduction and click on those three dots again. Um, we want to duplicate. We're going to click on duplicate. So in here, we're going to get rid of that and we're going to type in teaching philosophy and click done. Now, you'll see it's actually come up here in the menu bar. We don't want it there, we don't. We want it underneath introduction as a sub page. So what you need to do is go back to these three dots now on teaching philosophy, click them. And you can see right here, an option is sub page. We're gonna click that. And now we have a sub page. So um, we wanna add some more. So we're gonna add duplicate. And now you can see the drop-down arrows here that are created, these drop-down arrows, so we know that's going to be underneath. Again, now we're going to delete that, and we're going to type personal goals. Done. And we're going to duplicate again. Delete that. And we're going to type professional goals. Done. Click again. Duplicate. Certification. Duplicate. Last one. Advanced professional. performance review. And done. So now I'm going to create all the sub pages for instructional practice. And those categories are planning and preparation, instruction, classroom environment, culminating projects, DIY, Atlas protocol. Um, I'm skipping student learning because for the kitchen it's a lot different than it is for the traditional classroom. I'll be doing that separately. Um, so instructional practice, again, planning and preparation, instruction, classroom environment, culminating projects, DIY, Atlas protocol. I'll do all that and come back. All right, so I've created the sub pages for instructional practice, you can see there. Planning and preparation, instruction, classroom environment, culminating projects, DIY, Atlas protocol. Next, professionalism. I'm going to go in there and click those three buttons, and there's quite a few categories. So I'm going to add those. Oops, no, I don't want to delete that. Oops, I clicked the wrong thing. Duplicate. All right, so in this the subpages I'm going to create for professionalism are bulletin boards in the years, TCIS certification, CBR certificate, homework blog, parent-teacher conference, um, and then for CTE, I have several different things. So we have superintendent student council catering, the district 75 entrepreneurship week bake sale, MSCB catering events, the baking club, uh, recipes on a budget, um, also any sort of professional Publication work can be here. I had an article in the UFT about the new teacher profile, so I'll add that here as well. And uh, I'll do that off camera and then show you what it looks like when it's done. Okay, so here you see there's quite a few drop down sub pages for professionalism, and that's done. And the thing is, is that as time goes on, if you want to add uh, new sub pages, you can always do so. So if you get any more certificates and um, any more professional recognition, you can certainly add that as you go. But this is where we're going to start off now. And what we need to do is begin to start populating information on all of these different pages. All right, so now we have that set up. And what we want to do is add a strip. So if you look down here, you can see that 
for this template, that's all they had. Um, we need to add another strip because I need to put some more information on this introduction spot. So if we go over here to our tools, we should have this add button. If you click on that, then there's all these things that you can add. All right, um, and what we wanna do is add what is considered a strip. So here are strips and we have a whole bunch of different templates that we can choose from and um, add that in. Now I think the one that's probably best suited for what I'm interested in doing is this one. So I'm gonna add that strip, okay? And then I can add pictures and some di um, text here. Okay, so I have on here um, my degree from Skidmore and I was able to upload the logo. And now I'm adding my degree from the French Cone Institute. And so I've included the information and now I wanna add my logo. So I've already uploaded it to my Google Drive, the photo for it. And what I'm gonna do here is I'm going to come right here and go to media, okay? So I'm gonna click on media All right, so my logo is already uploaded to it, so I had that there. Now, what I'm gonna do is upload your media. So I'm gonna to go to my Google Drive here, click on that. I'm gonna to connect to Google Drive, my IMSCB account, allow. Now this is a bit of the annoying thing is that every time you wanna access your Google Drive, you have to go into it again, it doesn't just save it. So here's my logo. I'm going to upload that. Oh, that's going to take a while, so let me pause. All right, so when I was using the uh, media button to add media to my site, this one over here, it was stuck in the loading position for many minutes. I had to delete it and try it again. So now what I'm going to do instead is though I'm going to go try to add the photo in another place. So I'm clicking on this column here, which is a photo. Um, I'm clicking on that, which says must have change column background. So that will take me to this selection. Now I'm going to do um, an image because I want to upload the pictures into this account. So I'm going to go to upload media to the Google Drive. And here I have um, the logo from the French Cone Institute and Richmond University. So let me try this one first since the other one was not working. Let's see. So now it's uploading. And now this is where it's taking time. So I'm not sure how long it's going to take. Oh, now see, it worked quickly. That's how it should normally do it. So now I want to go, great. So this logo is there and this logo is there. Okay, so it's already in our Wix. So now I'm gonna go back to the middle column. So this is where I wanna add my logo right there for the French Coin Institute, right down there. So let's go to media. And I'm gonna add this logo, the French Coin Institute, and it puts it right on here. And what I wanna do is I'm gonna drag it down below and place it where I want it to be. And I need to make it smaller so that it'll fit. So I'm gonna to have to, on this key, I'm gonna make it smaller. So let me adjust that. I need two hands to do it and I'll be right back. Okay, so now I have put in the logo for the French Coin Institute beneath the text here on this. And now I'm gonna go in and actually change the photo on this um, column. So I'm gonna to go to change column background. And I'll go to image. And this one, I'm gonna put in a picture of myself. So I've gotta to go to upload media. Go to my Google Drive, and I'm gonna add this picture. So upload it, hopefully it'll work quickly this time. Great, it worked quickly. So this is the picture I'm gonna use. It's, high, it's clicked, that's the one. So I'm gonna change the background, and there we go. Now, unfortunately, the background, it's giving me more than one picture because the column is so big. Um, so I don't necessarily like that. Um, I'm gonna have to fiddle around with the um, picture, maybe make it 
a different orientation or adjust the columns on this. So I'll have to fiddle around with that and figure it out and make it look a little bit better. But now I'm gonna go to save. It says auto save is on, but it doesn't always save that often. So make sure you're saving it. Okay. So how do I change the picture here? Well, I'm gonna go back into change column background, go to settings. And right here, this is what I need to do. It's in tile. Now, if I do scale to fill, it stretches it, but then that doesn't really show me as much. So what I wanna do is go original size. And there, it pairs it down, and there's black borders on it, and that looks much better. I'm gonna keep it like that. All right, so I'm gonna save again, because all this work takes a long time. All right, so now I wanna do the same thing to this column photo over here. Um, I've gone to change column background. I'm gonna to go to image. Okay, upload media. Google Drive. Uploading a picture of the peppermint bark. <clears throat> now, um, actually, I want to try the gingerbread men first, so let's change and see what it looks like. Now, that looks kind of cute, um, but I think that maybe I might want to change it. Um, so, if you up here, we have the black, white, and red. So even though gingerbread men look very cute, I think I might want to go with the black, white, and red of the um, peppermint bark. So let's change it there. All right, see, I think that looks better. Now, I also like everything to be balanced and uniform. So even though this picture looks good here on the side as a stretch photo, I might want to balance it and have it also with those black borders just so it looks even. So I'm gonna go back into, um, image settings and I'm going to go to original size let's see if it well in this case it didn't really work let's try it again maybe tile nope all right scale to fill all right so for some reason when I did that it didn't work um, so I'm just gonna leave it so that way yeah, it won't be so balanced but still that looks pretty good all right, so um, I'm sure if I knew more about Wix, I could probably figure it out, but I'm just going to leave it right now. And of course, I'm going to press save since I just did all that work uploading that picture. All right, so now what I want to do is th there's uh, some more educational things I want to add, um, advanced courses that I took at NYU, etc. So I'm going to add another strip, okay? So let's go to this button, add. All right, and we're gonna look for another strip. So we're gonna add a strip, and I want it the same format, so I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna keep putting in uh, food photographs on this so they can see pictures of all the food that we've made. And in here, I will add in all the other um, educational experiences and keep adding that information as strips. So I'm just taking you through these steps on how to do that. So I'm gonna populate it and then show you what it looks like afterwards since it takes quite a bit of time.